Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Belicious Budging. My name is Anna. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are packing for a weekend trip to New Jersey. It is my last year in my 20s and I want to travel this year. We literally have trips booked up until June, which is very exciting. So I was looking at my travel bucket list and playing around with the Google flight predictor and saw that this weekend was the cheapest week to go to New Jersey. And I literally brought this trip idea to Ernie while we were doing cardio at the gym and we made it happen. I booked a cute little Airbnb located on the Seaside Heights boardwalk, which also Ernie and I are Jersey Shore fans. So we plan to do a little self tour while we're out there to visit the Snooky Shop, the Shore Store, check out the Jersey Shore House, go to Beach Combers, and any other places that they featured in the show. Also, when we arrived there, we planned to go to Liberty Park, has a very nice view of New York. And I saw how close New York was. I was like, darn, I really want to go. Probably not going to happen with the logistics of transportation. We are going to have a rental car and Ernie and I definitely do not want to drive in New York. We don't even know the parking rules out there. I just feel like it'd be a little bit stressful, but we thought the weekend was the perfect amount of time to do everything that we wanted to do out there. And especially with our Airbnb being located right on the boardwalk, we will have plenty of time to explore. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty. I sound has saved money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. Upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And just go ahead and get straight to packing. And these are all the clothes that I am packing with me. So I just have some underwear and socks here. My pajamas. This is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing onto the plane. So I have my beanie, a flannel, an undershirt, and then leggings. And then I just have a second pair of leggings and this oversized shirt from Old Navy. I swear lately, I've just been planning my vacation outfits around leggings because it's winter time, it's cold, and I just want to be comfortable. And since it's going to be a little bit chilly out there, I'm just going to wear this leather jacket onto the plane and wear it for both days. And since we're only going for the weekend, I'm only packing a personal item and my travel purse. So I'm going to put my clothes into the back pocket. And then we have my hair care bag. I love this ball headband that I got from Burlington. It does a great job of keeping the hair out of my face when I want to wash my face, remove my makeup, or brush my teeth. Then we have some travel hairspray, heat protecting spray, my travel hairbrush, hair ties, and bobby pins. And in the middle compartment, I just have Ernie and I's shared toiletry bag and a first aid kit that I got from Dollar Tree. Since I have room in here, I'm going to go ahead and pack my makeup bag and include it in here. We're keeping the makeup to a minimum, so I'm going to bring the small makeup bag that I got from an Ipsy subscription. I love this eyeshadow palette that I got in an Ipsy subscription many, many years ago by the Bomb Cosmetics. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but I love that it comes with a mirror, five eyeshadows, and three blushes and a bronzer. Then I have my travel makeup brushes. Anytime we travel, I bring my own makeup eraser because I don't want to stain anyone's towels while removing my makeup. And to remove my makeup, I use my Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. You all know I love this Ioni beauty sponge that I got from the 99 cent store. It's just so nice and bouncy. I love the slanted tip. And then I got the sponge holder from Dollar Tree. And then I have my Ioni lash curler. Then I just have some translucent setting powder. Eye primer, I bring my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Also my Travel Mascara by Maybelline. And for my liquid eyeliner, I'm bringing the one by Ioni. It's a two-in-one lash glue liner. I'm not wearing any falsies on this trip, but you can find this at Dollar Tree. It's a great liquid liner. I hate having dry lips, so I always make sure I have a lip scrub with me. This one is by LA Colors, and you can find it at Dollar Tree. For my lip combo, I'm going to go for this nude mauve shade. So I have this ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade BFF2 and the LA Colors matte lipstick in the shade Keeper. I've been loving this Juvia's Place Velvet and Matte Foundation. All you need is a little bit, and it is full coverage. I'm almost out of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but it will last enough for this trip. For my liquid blush, I am bringing the one by Rare Beauty in the shade Truth. And for my liquid bronzer, I bring my e.l.f. Contour one in the shade Light Medium. And for face primer, I bring the e.l.f. Power Grip primer. And for setting spray, I bring the one by It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better. The LA Colors Highlighter in the shade Shine Bright is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. You can honestly find it at Dollar Tree. It is very pigmented and it's a very nice and sleek design, perfect for traveling. This bag was a perfect fit. And in my side pockets, I have my disinfecting wipes, my flushable Kirkland wipes. Also, I have my travel umbrella that I got from Amazon. I absolutely love this because it is nice and compact. Also, it comes with its own carrying case. <laughs> on my other side pocket, I have my Brita water bottle. I absolutely love this for travel because it filters your water. Once we pass TSA, I'm going to fill it up with some water. And the front pocket is completely empty in case I do buy any merchandise. Honestly, I'll probably switch our toiletry bag into Ernie's 
backpack because he's gonna bring a backpack too, but he just packs the day before, which I like packing a few days prior. So we still have enough space and I'm still bringing my travel purse. And in the front pocket, I keep some complimentary earphones I received from different airlines because you never know when you'll need them. Also, I have a nail grooming kit that I got from Dollar Tree. It comes in very handy. Luckily, my portable door lock came just in time from Amazon, so I have been wanting to get one of these ever since I traveled alone in Irvine. So if you stay at an Airbnb in a hotel where others may have access to your room, this just adds an extra layer of security. And this is how it looks like, so it's nice and compact for travel. I will show you all once we are settled into our Airbnb for the night how this works. You can only use it once you're inside your Airbnb or hotel, so you can't use it when you leave for the day. And we are catching a later flight, so hopefully I can get some sleep on our way there. So I'm going to bring my travel pillow. And these are the press-on nails that I am planning to use. I'm just waiting for my nail glue to come in through Amazon because that's the only place where I can find it. And I will pack the nail glue with me just in case a nail were to come off. I don't want it ruining my whole manicure. And usually I will apply my nails either the day before or the day that we leave so that they're less likely to come off during my trip. And this is everything that I'm going to pack into my travel purse, which I absolutely love. I know it looks a bit on the smaller side, but it holds quite a bit. So I have my Purell hand sanitizer. Also, this purse has the RDIF blocking, which prevents people from stealing your information. I have my travel wallet with some cash, my ID, credit and debit card and then I have my antibacterial hand wipes I get from Dollar Tree also got this travel bottle from Dollar Tree I got the pump from Bath and Body Works I just filled it up with my own lotion some earrings a little perfume sampler my aquaphor and then my vitamin organizer that I got from Amazon and in here, I just have some Excedrin, Ibuprofen, and then Ernie and I's daily vitamins. And this is everything packed up. So as you can tell, I still have quite a bit of room. The day that we leave, I'm going to pack my portable charger, Apple Watch charger, and my phone charger in here. And I still have some room in these pockets. And this purse does come with two outside compartments. And this is everything that Ernie's packing. So very minimalistic. He's only bringing one pair of jeans, one pair of underwear and socks, some pajamas, and a flannel for Sunday. And this is the outfit that he's wearing onto the plane. And that was everything that I'm packing with me for a weekend trip to New Jersey. I am super shocked that I fit everything into a personal item. Even though we're only going for two days, I had to pack more bulkier items since it's gonna be a bit colder out there. Plus I need to make some space for some items that I plan to bring back. I do wanna buy some merchandise while I'm out there. Worst case scenario, I'll just use a shopping bag as a carry on. So let me know in the comment box down below where you plan to travel this year. I would definitely love to know. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you all in New Jersey. Bye, everyone.